All right, so I'm gonna show you what a torque release technique adjustment looks like. First thing I do is I pump the legs to take the body from a weight bearing to a non weight bearing position. What that does is it removes the compensations from your upright posture when you're standing so that I can see raw data of how the body's moving and working. I'm doing the deep tendon reflex, which I talked about in an earlier video. Now, what I'm gonna have it do is Paul turn his head to check and see where the most pressure is on his nervous system. Now, Paul, when we start, he has a reflex that's less on the right or diminished on the right compared to the left. That tells me there's pressure on the right side of his nervous system that first needs to be addressed. Now, as I'm going through and checking, I'm checking his occiput first, and what I found is that's already the exact area in the spine that needs to be adjusted. And then as I find the exact line of drive and torque, I'm going to adjust his occiput. Take two deep breaths for me. So the adjustment is very gentle, and what that does is now I'm gonna allow for his nervous system to correct that by resetting the nervous system again. Now I'm going to go through and check and see if that adjustment held and corrected. So I'm gonna have you turn your head this way. Paul still has pressure on the right side of his nervous system. All right. However, I can already see that it's not the same area as the last one I adjusted. It's already held. So we know that we've made a great adjustment and his body's already starting to heal. Now there's different pressure tests that I'm doing in the spine to find out exactly where he needs to be adjusted. Now this is the coccyx bone. It is one of the biggest things in all of the nervous system and very few chiropractors, I mean very few chiropractors unless they do torque release technique will ever adjust your coccyx bone. Part of the reason I believe is just because it's down in there. It's the bottom of your sacrum and people don't wanna go there. It's where your nervous system starts, goes all the way up to your spinal cord and ends at your sphenoid bone at the skull. And so I'm gonna adjust this first on Paul. 